Hello, welcome back to my channel. This week I am making stracciatella, which is an egg-based soup. But before I get started, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so that way we can keep on growing. Now stracciatella derives from the Roman region of Italy, and the word stracciatella itself actually comes from stracciare, which in Italian is a verb that means to shred or to tear. And that's what's going to happen to the eggs at the end of the dish. So let's get cooking. So in order to make stracciatella, you're going to need eggs, parmesan, chicken stock or chicken broth, parsley, and Swiss chard. This isn't in a traditional stracciatella soup, but I think it adds a nice flavor and texture, so I highly recommend trying it out. So to start, we're going to get a bowl, and then we're going to crack all four of our eggs into this bowl. This should serve about four, or you could just have two large portions. And then we're going to take our eggs and we're just going to whisk them all together, just like you're making scrambled eggs. And then we're gonna add our parsley and our Parmesan cheese. I am just eyeballing it here. I'm gonna have the exact measurements all listed down below, but the rest of the cheese I'm saving to top at the end of the dish. So you, again, just whisk all of this together. And then we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side. And then I just wanted to show you what pot I'm using. I'm using my cast iron Dutch oven. You definitely can use just a regular pot if that's all that you have, but you want something that has higher walls so that way you're able to appropriately mix all of the eggs in the soup. And then I'm going to take my pot over to the stove and on medium high heat, I'm going to add my liquid into the pot. Now, when choosing between chicken stock and chicken broth, it is kind of confusing to understand what to use. I generally just look for an option that also has some vegetables included in it, so some onions and carrot, celery. The main difference between the two is the presence of collagen, and if bones are used, then there's more collagen, and that would result in a stock, and if it's just the meat that is used to make the base, then it is a broth. So I recommend trying them both out and seeing what flavor you like best, or you could try making it at home yourself. And then once your liquid is boiling, you can go ahead and add your greens. I'm adding my Swiss chard here. You just want to cook it for a minute or two until it starts to wilt down. And then after that, it's time to add the eggs. So you want to just go ahead and slowly add them into your pot. And once you have them all poured in, you can go ahead and stir it up so that way they cook together. You just want to make sure that the liquid is boiling when you do this so that way it cooks nice and quick and then you have your stracciatella soup While we let this cool off before we serve, we are going to make one additional thing, which is some garlic toast. So I have my four peeled cloves of garlic, and then I'm gonna put them in a little mini baking dish. You also could just roast a whole head of garlic if that's what you want. So I took my four cloves and I'm adding some olive oil and I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna cover my baking dish with some foil. I'm just gonna put that into the oven. And when you take it out, your garlic should be nice and gooey on the inside. So when you go and put it on a piece of toast, you should be able to just smash it down with a fork and make this really delicious garlic toast that'll pair perfectly with your stracciatella. Now, I'm not just stopping there. Once I have all my garlic spread out onto my toast, I am just taking some olive oil and I'm gonna chisel that right on top. And then I'm also taking some parsley and I'm just ripping up little bits to cover a piece of toast. And it's the perfect side to your stracciatella soup. And now that we have our soup all finished and it's cooled off a little bit, you can go ahead and serve it into your bowls. It is perfect for entertaining or just if you want a good, comforting, easy soup on a cold winter's day. I did use the whole bunch of Swiss chard here, which you don't have to use a full bunch if you don't want to. I think a half a bunch would have been plenty, but I do love a lot of greens in my soup, so that's my preference. Although, you can't forget to add some more Parmesan cheese on top. 
And that's it. I had so much fun making stracciatella because it's so comforting and warming on these cold winter days. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if you make this recipe or if you just have made stracciatella before. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so that way we can keep on growing.